Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another episode where I review new affordable school fountain pens for children made in China. The previous week you've seen this iHow product being reviewed on this channel and now I have returned to the same Chinese store and I found this set. You see the price of it, so it cost me 9 lace. So the equivalent of 1.82 euros or 1.98 American dollars. In fact, it cost me the same amount of money that I paid for this fountain pen. But this fountain pen included 8 ink cartridges. This time this set includes one fountain pen, one erasable pen and four ink cartridges. I'm not so sure. Yes, I believe that the producer is again Ai Hao. And yes, the number of this pack is MS028. Also here MS028. This particular one was produced on uh, the month of February the day of 11 and the year 2020 you can see it comes in this cardboard pack and in front we have a plastic transparent layer they are all chinese characters in front and on the back we have some instructions on how to install an ink cartridge on the fountain pen but also how to use the ink eraser so nice nice and interesting guys also chinese uh, characters we have a website www.ihao.com and even an email address and this code I'm not so sure it is available in the European Union. It is a code of a Chinese made product. Again, this is the sticker, uh, removable sticker of the store, nine lace, you can remove it. And because I want to give this set to, as a gift to a young school uh, boy or girl, I will just use my scissors to try to open it as good as I can. So I will simply make a cut here at the end of the pack and I will try to remove them. And guys, because I have left from the previous week an uh, ink cartridge, in fact, I will show you that box i have right here so this box included eight of these ink cartridges made by the same producer so they should be compatible in fact i will take only one of them to compare with the other ones here so yes you can see the same dimension so it should be compatible i will take out only the fountain pen okay and the eraser and i will leave those aside here and the other one also here so i have the ink eraser and the fountain pen guys i will take out the scissors of the picture and let me see so i will start with the fountain pen we have another design from this design i will leave also this aside i will take this it probably should contain no it doesn't contain any ink cartridges so let's make a zoom on it this is the fountain pen is all made out of plastic it is in this gray color we have the cap which is a pressure fit cap a transparent cap but only the clip it is in the same uh, color as the barrel and the ending. Let me test the clip. 
So the clip is, uh, let's say, semi-flexible. It uh, is all made out of plastic, so you have to be careful when you operate it. There's always the possibility to crack it from this side if you overextend it. Okay, we can see those little spheres, uh, uh, spheric at the end of the cap. There are four of them and they have a practical role of securing this cap. You can see the cap. It, is in, it needs a little bit of force for you to remove it from the main body. It reveals this simple, simple grip section. We have the same, same material, but in contrast with the cylindrical form of the barrel, here we have some little cuts. You can see that allow you to have a minimum grip position. We have this time an open nib, no manufacturers on it, a simple steel nib. I'm not so sure it has an iridium tip and it is not mentioned anywhere in uh, English, maybe uh, in uh, the Chinese characters, I'm not so sure, but we will uh, certainly test it. Now let me open the barrel. You probably saw last week on the other, at, on the other uh, I how a product that we need to firmly, firmly put this on uh, the this part on the grip section of the fountain pen. And for this, I recommend this method. So put it like here and apply as much pressure as you can. Now I think that we have inserted it. And I will try to leave it for a minute like this. Maybe... I will leave it right over here for a minute. In the meantime, I will uh, compare it with the other Chinese product, but also with the classic luxury product from Mont Blanc, the famous Mont Blanc Meisterstück 146. And of course, I will leave also its dimensions on the screen for you to have an idea about the way it feels, guys in your hand and uh, maybe even the sessions of uh, writing that you can do with this instrument because it is quite a light instrument and we will see about it. So I certainly didn't leave it a long time there. I will put back this barrel. I will close it. And as I promised to you, I will compare it with the other Eichau product. It is the same, the same length. And this is a Mont Blanc 146. So they are approximately the same length. But of course, the Mont Blanc is a little bit fatter because it has an inner piston filler. Of course, it's like comparing oranges to apples. They certainly have some common elements, but we are talking about a few hundred dollars pen compared with uh, this one, this one, which cost around two dollars. So <laughs> uh, quite an unfair comparison, guys. But again, they are writing instruments and sometimes they write the same as their luxury brothers, their German brothers from Mont Blanc. So now I will concentrate only on this fountain pen. Before I will do the writing sample, I will change the angle of the camera, guys. So wait a second. Yes. And you know that now I'm using this beautiful, beautiful travel uh, journal that my friend Inia has bought me. You can see here from the previous week the sample I did with the iHao, so with this fountain pen over here. And now we will see how we can manage. This had, uh, by the way, a hooded nib and this will have an open nib. So I will use uh, this 
side of a paper because you can see some uh, marks left by the ink on this other one so this paper absorbs quite a lot amount of ink okay let me see so you saw previous minutes ago that we've inserted an ink cartridge by the way let me see if we can post it yes it can be easily posted so i have here an ihao but unfortunately we have the same problem as we did last week with this one so again we open it and uh, unfortunate we have to put pressure on it guys and this is quite quite a thick thick plastic i don't know why the chinese make them so hard but it is what it is guys so i have to apply pressure and to do like this and hoping that the ink will will um now uh the only solution i can see guys let me check first let me zoom on it okay and even more to see if we have properly properly insert it let me see oh quite quite yes it is inserting correctly let me put it again like this okay now i will try again maybe you need to to leave it for a few minutes like this i can tell you guys what i do and i am certainly ashamed of it but it was the only solution that i could think of so we have a very very thick plastic what i did and i'm sorry for that you don't need to do this at home just apply pressure with your teeth these are teeth marks guys from the previous week just look at them yes that was my trick with this phantom pen to make it work and those are the teeth mark and again although i applied the teeth mark this wasn't even let's say opened you you still can see that transparent sphere out there so don't do like me but the, the because i don't have time i must apply pressure with my teeth don't do this guys because you will certainly ruin your teeth i have a, a good dental let's say plan but <laughs> one of my friends is a dentist okay let me put pressure on it and i hope that i can do a good job So I try to put a little pressure on it and you can see my teeth mark over here <laughs> gross guys but uh, what I'm trying to do is show you that this is a very very good product but as long as you make it work you paid only two euros or two dollars and you have to make it work at least the first time and then you have to take care of it to just clean it very very thoroughly so i don't know what it is the problem i will do a little bit pressure with my teeth and i will come back let me see yes i've managed to apply pressure and the ink has reached the plastic feed i hope that now it will work hmm no it doesn't work and now i will try to put pressure with my fingers i'm not recommending you to use a tool because you will crack it and if you crack it it will be a mess with all that ink so i'm trying to put this pressure now again i have to use my teeth i'm sorry guys well i'm not so sure where all that ink has gone to it should work but why not it doesn't want to work so again pressure now you can see on my palm we have some ink uh, and yes i have a ink tissue right over here in my office i hope i won't 
do lots of damage yes I have this ink tissue right here and I've cleaned my hand now I hope that all after all my efforts it will write no not a chance <laughs> well guys I'm sorry about this I'm really sorry now I'm dipping it in this ink and I hope that it will write eventually write and it is a shame guys because it is a smooth smooth nib unfortunately it has these problems at the start with the ink flow let me give you a little zoom to see how nice it works now i will try to put the barrel back on i'm not so sure if the ink has reached the end of the nib or i would just use it as a dip pen using some ink from my palm we will see so i have here an eye howl this time we have again a set and the set let me show it to you includes these four ink cartridges and this ink eraser by the way uh, okay i'm not so sure what the fountain pen designated number is but on this ink eraser we have a number six four five zero six so this is the ink eraser the i howl the name of the set the number sorry of the set is m s zero two eight okay this is a fountain pen clearly made in china made in china it was made i believe that i have the manufacturing date right over here on the second of november 2020 okay so this uh, we have here an open nib a steel nib steel nib judging by the way it writes i think we have a fine a fine nib okay let me see if we can reverse write with it yes reverse writing well we can reverse write with it let me give you a little zoom guys so we can reverse write with it but it scratches a little bit and it is like an ef you can see the loss of inflow when i wrote the extra fine one so i don't think so not a possibility the reverse writing on this model now let me zoom a little bit out and let me test if we have a springy open nib no no flex to it now guys let me see if we have some pressure uh, variation some some line variation here no pressure guys and here some pressure no line variation no line variation interesting 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 let's see if we can do a signature with it quite nice because it is a juicy nib i didn't show you how juicy it is but now i can show you quite quite a nice juicy nib i think it is a smooth smooth writer and let me tell you also about the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog what can i say about this guys it is a wonderful wonderful fountain pen at a reasonable reasonable price although it had that uh, rough start when uh, i had to use all that uh, barbaric metals using my teeth to show you how it can write yes after you manage to insert that ink 
cartridge if you can wait for 30 minutes please wait and after that you can apply that pressure preferably not using your teeth guys and i'm talking to the young audience out there please don't ruin your teeth because of me so don't do like i did so okay guys this is the fountain pen and now let me check again this fountain pen eraser its name is 64506 and it should it has this interesting design as you can see like a marker it has this cap and it's quite stuck here okay i've managed to open it it can be easily fitted to the end of it as you can see and now let's see the magic for the magic let me take a little zoom and let's start with this part so i just want to erase you can see we can erase only some small parts of it or we can do the same erasing large parts let me see if i can do the same thing right here i need a little zoom yes now i have the zoom guys so look at it again there's visible marks and of course after you do this you can't reuse the ink because you can see look what it does so you can't use the ink but instead you can use a ballpoint pen i'm not so sure i have a ballpoint pen right here maybe i do but i'm not so sure that i have one that writes maybe this schneider will write let me see i'm not so sure uh, okay so it doesn't want to write well where is a ballpoint pen when you need one i hope that this will uh, have a mine let me see so i think i can rotate it like this and let me see if i can write something yes you can see this writes so you can always use the mine from a ballpoint pen to pass over this ink eraser i maybe i will test it some days to see if you can uh, remove other types of inks but why not let me see so guys i have here a mont blanc it is fitted with uh, this mont blanc royal blue i hope it is the blue one because i also have a red one yes this is the blue one and i will write for you here let's say the pen collector okay this is a royal blue mont blanc ink and this one if i'm not mistaken i believe it is a red ink but not from mont blanc but um, i think it is from faber castle the red ink the same the let's say pen collector because i'm curious to see if this ink eraser can erase other types of ink that is certainly not produced by this i how chinese manufacturer let me see yes with the mont blanc ink we have a nice result as you can see and let me see with the red ink with the red ink the result it is not so good the blue one but the red one no and you can see it still has left some red ink on it so definitely we can use it on this mont blanc royal blue ink that i have on my desk but not on the red ink and the red ink i think i have it right over here the faber castell red ink let me show it to you 
I hope I have it somewhere here. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is the Faber Castell red ink that was used on the other Mont Blanc. So we have a fountain pen in red and cannot be erased. So cannot be erased. Definitely a permanent ink cannot be erased. So this is why the ink eraser has done such a terrible thing. Guys, I'm sorry about the mess on my desk. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing, guys. And uh, it is interesting that this set, which costs around 2 euros or around 2 American dollars, can be compared with a fountain pen that costs even 1,000 euros or 1,000 dollars or close to that sum. Uh, but again two types of uh, different different classes but if we are talking strictly to their uh, utilitarian uh, purpose they are pretty close one to each other so this is my opinion guys of course i love every time i love a vintage piece so uh, always i will prefer uh, vintage design to this simple plastic but in a way a fountain pen it is a tool guys and why not if you find that tool at a reasonable price and it does almost the same job as a luxury one why not go for the cheap one of course <laughs> I'm talking through my experience I own 800 pieces and always it is a pleasure to ride with this Mont Blanc. It gives you, I don't know, a special, special feeling. Not knowing that you overpaid for it, but um, it has uh, like a soul, if you know what I mean. Uh, it feels like um, driving, I don't know, a Mercedes Benz in comparison with other type of a vehicle is the attention to details guys and the way it makes you feel so try a Mont Blanc and also try a Chinese fountain pen and you will see what I'm talking about thank you for your time guys I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing again please a disclaimer don't do like I did so don't apply pressure with your teeth because you will certainly ruin them Please guys, don't do this at home. This was desperate measures. So, I hope you understand me and don't criticize me in the comments. This was my unboxing guys and my review of this affordable Chinese set that includes also a eraser but uh, also four ink cartridges. The name again is or the number is MS028 and it costs around two euros or two american dollars so thank you guys if you've enjoyed this unboxing please subscribe to my channel the pen collector channel to support my activity as always i wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are see you on the next in the next episode bye bye and god bless